Good morning. I forgot to put my earrings in. Hi, Maddie. Um, I was just remembering something else I need to do today. But I'm going to work on these folios. Finish them up. Hi, Susan. How are you? Um, if you were on the live yesterday, I made these little airmail folios and today I am just going to finish putting a few things in them so that I can send them off tomorrow morning. Hi Amy, how are you? Okay, so let me grab something real quick. Hello, how are you guys? Good morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna do what I'm doing here. So we made it yesterday on Alive, I made these little airmail folios. This is an envelope. It has some pockets inside. And I'm just putting simple little tags in the pockets and I'm just made these simple little tags out of um, this map paper. And I did put the link to these envelopes and a few other things in my description. So yeah, I'm just putting tags in the top loading pockets of these. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything else, but yeah, I probably will. I have these postage stamp stickers Yesterday, someone said it would be cute to include like a postage stamp because that would be cute to decorate these with. So I have some right here. And I think I'm gonna put those in, I don't know, I can't decide, like in the pocket. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. How are you guys? I have these, uh, I also have this vent these vintage receipts that I ordered from an Etsy shop, I think. They're really fun. I think they could be really cool for collaging and something else. I'm not exactly sure, but. Hi, Elena and Shannon. Good morning, good afternoon, depending where you are. Um, so yeah, these vintage receipts, I was thinking. Let me see if I can fold it in half. No. I need to fold it in thirds. I don't know. I might not put them in here. Let's see. Maybe. Can't decide, but... Oh, darn it. I have a few new Patreon members just from yesterday, like when I was doing it live. I saw a few new pop up. And I was going to say thank you, but I forgot to look that up. Um, I think it was Vicky and let's see, Vicky and dang it, that's what I was. I knew there was something I was gonna do. Well, welcome to my new Patreon members from yesterday. It's probably dead. So I added little pockets on all of these yesterday. Just a simple little pocket right there. So these are going to be ready to be sent out. I'll probably get them all packaged up today and then they'll go out tomorrow. So if you're a Patreon member, 
will be coming. Man, it is kind of cold today. It's a little gloomy out. And I really just want it to be warm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the receipts are really fun. I think I like colors in them. And I am going to include them regardless of how I package them up. But yeah, I like the colors a lot. I think they will be really fun to do something with. Like I said, I don't know. I would probably collage them onto like a journal page, I think. I don't know. So once I'm done with this, Almost done. Just a few more. I'll figure out the vintage receipts. I also have, oh, one other thing I need to do is I need to finish my vintage slides that I made and I just need to glue on a little die cut on each one. That should be quick. So maybe I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. want to make sure these aren't all stuck together because I use glue and sometimes it kind of seeps out. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to order these, um, these airmail envelopes again, uh, just to have on hand for journals because they are really fun. And since they are super long, they're like nine and a half inches long. Um, you could fold them in half and use them like as a page in a journal really easily. It would be a good size for that. You guys, yesterday I went grocery shopping and came home and I reorganized my kitchen. Like, yeah, like my pantry. And it feels so good. It's so organized and oh my gosh, I had to get rid of so much food that was like old or like that we didn't. <laughs> yeah. And it made me want to organize my craft room. Um, and I've been wanting to do that for a while. It's really, people say like, oh, you're so organized. But my craft room is not organized at all. I mean, kind of, but like if I look around, like, I know where things are, but yeah, it's a disaster. I have a lot of like packaged things that need to like be put away sort of thing. But... You, Whoops. I didn't mean to say that I was. I accidentally clicked off the live second and sometimes it makes it pause. So let me know if I'm still here. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. I really hope I didn't uh, glitch my live. I didn't mean to click off of it. I'm trying to scroll up the comments. Good. I'm here. I feel like one time I did that and it really screwed it up. So anyways. Okay, so done with that. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I will put these little postage stamp stickers in the pockets because they're small and that would be a good spot for them. Um, I'm going to drink this energy drink here. It's pretty good. Hmm. Do you guys drink coffee or energy drinks or tea or nothing in the morning? Okay, I think this might be a good idea to go ahead and just put these in the little pockets because some of these kind of got stuck together when I was gluing them so that way I can unstick them and make sure that they're not stuck too bad. Am I going to add these receipts in there? Should I? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I'm 
Maybe I will. And then, okay, so these are for my orchid tier, 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 that's a hard word to say sometimes, tier members. Um, but the rose members, we'll get one of these too, and I'll just put it in the five piece kit or like junk journal thing. Hi, Jenny. Well, I'm glad that you were able to catch it. Catch me. Catch me. Poke, even in the morning, huh? Well, it's not different than an energy drink, I guess, because, yeah. I can't, I can't drink an energy drink, like, the first second I wake up. Um, but I drink coffee, like, the second I wake up. This, the moment. Unless I'm out, which actually happens quite a bit. Oh, um, okay, so I'm multitasking here. I gotta remember what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put the vintage receipts. There's a side pocket right here, you know, like in there. I'm gonna put that in there, and then I need to remember to put these stamps in the pocket that's in the inside. Um, let's say something. Well, today is my daughter's last day of preschool so that's pretty exciting she actually let me braid her hair it's so cute and I was just like can we just do this all the time because girl your hair looks much better if we do something to it rather than running away from me and not wanting to brush it at all oh geez so Okay, I feel like I'm talking a lot, but that's okay. Um, today's Thursday, which means two more days until my sister's white trash party that we talked about yesterday. And I still haven't quite figured out. I really like the idea of <laughs> yesterday mad that I should wear my skates. And I like that idea it's so funny, but Realistically, I won't do that just because it's in the backyard on like on a grassy area. But um, I do really wish that I could find like a fake ankle monitor. And I actually just looked on Amazon to see if I could find anything. And um, apparently you can buy like a real tracking monitor. Like, wait, is that what it's called? A tracking device like for your ankle. It was like 900 bucks, but it made me laugh because I was just thinking, what if someone, does someone actually buy this and like put it on their child or something like that? I don't know. Okay, yeah, I think this is cute this way. So basically the side pocket has the vintage receipt. The middle pocket has a little stamp. And then the top one here has the, um, the map tag. And there's a lot of free space in here, so the person who's receiving it can kind of make it their own. But it's sort of like, gives you some ideas, I suppose. I feel like I just stopped in the middle of the story, did I? You love having your hair braided? I don't think I've braided my own hair in a very long time. In fact, I just learned I, le I just learned how to French braid like a year ago. I could never figure it out. And I think the problem is I was always trying it on myself and that's super hard to do. But um, doing it on someone else is way easier. something else I should do. So let me look at my list of things I gotta do. 
because there might be something more entertaining than this. Did that. Let's cross that off the list. Cross you off. Did that. Um, okay. Need to do that. Need to do that. Oh. Well, this might be just as boring, but that's okay. Let's move on to something else. I just don't feel like finishing this right now. I need to do a couple things. I need to add these little Tim Holtz die cuts onto the color transparencies. Oh. Was I going to add? Well, anyways, I'm just thinking out loud, but yeah, I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to just dump these out. And I need to just find all the little teeny ones. I think I've bought this pack like a hundred times, honestly the cutest little things and I'm just gonna randomly grab one this is so cute like um, I don't know if you'll be able to see on here but this so I used vellum um, it wasn't vellum it wasn't a paper pad but it was like these little um, I don't know what you call them do I have any more so I can show you Well, anyways, they're kind of like journaling cards, but they have like little scenes, like they're from, yeah, they're from Tim Holtz. I think I already said that. But anyways, the whole point of me bringing that up is because this one's so cute. Like it has, I feel like it totally looks like you went on vacation and like, okay, anyways, it has like a little ship, like some water. Okay, so, yeah. Hi. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm just finishing some things here. Just chilling. Chilling like villain. Do you guys know how to say the ABCs backwards? Because <laughs> I do. And why do I feel so cool that I know how to do that? I don't know. Um, actually, my son taught me many years ago. So, yeah, like, I'm adding these little die cuts. So, like, that one is, like, a little postage stamp. I'm not going to spend too much time deciding what to add on here. I'm just going to grab one and glue it. Grab one and glue it. And then we're gonna turn it blue. It, but I, don't know, I thought I thought maybe I had a song coming along, but it didn't really work. Hi, Jackie. Thank you. I think they're so cute. Um, and you could do so many different things with them. You can add like a little bold pin, pin, and use it as a charm. You could put it in your journal and make like, like add it onto a little pocket, something like that. Um, Jay, I did, I did film a video making these actually. Um, sh yep, I did. In fact, perhaps I will go ahead and make that video live today. Wait, did I? I didn't? Hang on, let me look real quick. I can't remember why I hadn't put it up yet. I think there's a reason. Let me take a little peek. A little peeky boo. Because, oh, or, okay. I just don't want to forget to do it later, so I'm going to do it right now. 
your channel. Maybe I, maybe I didn't edit that one yet, but I'm pretty sure I did. Well, anyways, when I'm done with this live, I'm just doing it now because I know that when I get off, I'm going to forget. Anyways, that's, this, I'm going to leave my, you know what, I'll leave my laptop out and then maybe I will remember. Because, oh, I, I, now I remember why, now I remember why I haven't put it up yet, because I was working on a printable, so if you don't have your own transparencies or vintage slides or whatever you want to call it, um, I made a printable so that you can just print your own out, cut it out, and honestly, they look pretty good printed out as well. So I was trying to finalize that printable before I put the video up, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to work on that this weekend then actually probably see these cute little, like little mushroom. It's hard to see cause they're so small, but I need to do this quicker. I'm taking too long to do this. So I will get that video up as soon as I can. Thank you. Um, you Jenny, that's cool. I was one of the first people that you were ever subscribed to. Well, I'm so glad. Um, oh boy. Do I have any suggestions for getting a channel going? YouTube is so different now than, than it was when I started because now there's all these rules on how many subscribers and watch time you need you know, to be able to monetize your channel. So if you are wanting to start a channel because you like want to start making extra income, don't do it for that reason. Um, because you're going to have to be real patient. And, but, but if you are passionate about crafting or whatever it is you want to do on YouTube, and you just want to make videos because that sounds fun, 100% go for it. Um, if you want to start a channel and you actually like want to grow your channel, then if you don't have Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, I would start all of those, honestly. And that way when you post a video, you can, you can make a post saying, Hey, I just made this video on this. You should go watch it. And when you post, when you do that, then you've got to use like hashtags and follow other accounts that have a similar, um, you know, similar, whatever genre it is you're doing, if it's crafting. But other than that, if you like, maybe you're someone who makes journals and you want to be able to, um, share flip throughs of the journals. I'm just giving this as, as an example. Then for that, just make the videos and then whoever wants to see your, like if, what am I trying to say? Um, for something like that, I would try to be in a bunch of Facebook groups, um, like junk journal, Facebook groups. And usually you have to read the rules, but usually you can share your video flip throughs that way. And then people will, you know, start to follow you that but yeah I have a hard time giving advice just because if I'm being honest I don't know if I would start YouTube now and I don't want to talk you out of it I'm just saying it's just it seems like a lot of work to grow a channel and to get paid for it and all of that whoops but yeah I hope that makes sense 
And if you're curious about the whole process of setting up uh, monetization and all of that, I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube that can walk you through that, but I'm pretty sure you have to have, does anyone know, like I, Maddie, and you kind of, you have a chance, not kind of, you have a channel. Um, do you know like what the minimum watch time and all of that is for you to be able to monetize your videos? I just don't know. It changes so often. Um, when I started, there was no minimum. You could just, gosh dang it, I keep dropping these. But, um, wait, was that Jenny who asked? Yeah, so are you wanting to make a video? Like, obviously you already have a channel. So another thing you can do is, um, obviously right now your channel name, your channel is your name. You can keep it that if you want, but you could also change your channel name on the current account that you're on. You can change it if you want it to be um, something that's a little more relating to what you're going to be showing on your channel. That I feel like that that can be helpful. <laughs> Although, like me, if someone saw Paper Terrace, they're I mean they're still probably not going to know what the heck. They wouldn't be like, oh, this is a junk journal channel. But I changed my name after um, already having like a bunch of subscribers, so it didn't really matter. I felt like, and I wanted it. I since I change up what I'm doing quite a bit, like my interest changes. I wanted my channel name to be something general enough that I don't have to change my channel name every time I change my interests. Like if I start doing scrapbooking instead or like bullet journaling or something like that, you know, like I feel like paper terrace would work for all of those. But, but also again, I didn't ever put much time and energy into coming up with a name. In fact, I, <laughs> do you guys remember what my old channel name was? Um, I chose it as a joke because I wasn't actually planning on having a channel and it was, I'm a cool mom, which was funny, but it didn't make sense if I'm like, if someone's like, what's your channel name? And I'm like, it's, I'm a cool mom. Like it just, it didn't, didn't flow. So I was really happy when I changed it. Now I just feel like I'm talking a lot. But these are looking cute, so I'm not really showing you. I'm just sitting here chatting now. Um, oh, that's not centered very well. But like that one, can you see? It's like a little flower field or something like that. Some of these little die cuts are just little labels. I feel like you can do something really cute with that as well. Like a little, like a, it's a, like a pretty sky. Um, also, you didn't ask for this, but also if you are um, wanting to start a channel and you're like, thinking of ideas on how to grow your channel. Another thing is honestly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, going on lives and kind of putting yourself out there. That's one way. Um, I remember when I first started to, I would collab with other channels that had like a similar size channel to me. I did that a lot, but again, I was doing it just because I wanted to, and it was fun and I wanted to make so many videos. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I need to find all the little ones here. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. That's what I was thinking that you need about a thousand subs. Yeah, and I think Maddie, I, so yeah, you're saying your channel is just a place to post your flip throughs and whatnot and occasional hauls. And I feel like that's also another awesome way to do it.
like you're not stressed about like growing it and whatnot but it's there and it's helpful especially if you have an Etsy shop it's helpful because people like to see like when people buy a journal or something they like to see flip throughs they like to see as much as they can so oh these are so cute these little mushrooms um yeah I try not to do like a mushroom theme every single month but this is a, not a mushroom theme. This is a travel theme, but obviously, I don't know where I was going with it. <laughs> that was my channel name when you started watching me. Yeah. I think a lot of people remember that. Okay, what time is it? It's almost 10.30. Well probably gonna go in a minute here I need some music so that I can do this a little faster and I'm just gonna be doing this until I'm finished here and then yeah later today I'm going to be packaging this stuff up so that I can send it out tomorrow for my patreon members Oh, now I remember the name I was trying to think of earlier, Tamara. There was a Vicky and a Tamara, and I think one more, new Patreon members. So, I do have a few spots open, I'll just say that. Um, and what I'm making here is getting sent out to my Patreon members along with other things. And I think I have a few spots open on all of my tiers. No pressure, but it's there if you want it. Oh, I hear my son coming downstairs. He's probably gonna come in here and say, Mom, I'm hungry. What do we have? <laughs> he actually helped me clean my kitchen yesterday, or not clean, uh, like organize. And we reorganized like all of my pantry in that type of food area. <laughs> and he actually just came downstairs and was like, I can help you. And I was, at first, like, I'm really bad at taking help. Or is it, that doesn't sound right, taking help. I'm, I'm really bad at um, accepting help. And so at first I was gonna be like, no, it's fine, I, I got it. But he's been wanting to earn money for a 3D printer. And, uh, and also I need to get better at accepting help if he can do it. So I let him. And I, I was kind of thinking like he just might be getting in the way of because I had a vision for how I wanted to organize. But dude, he helped so much. It was awesome. We got it done like really quick. Um, and then last night he came in my room and said, Mom, the 3D printer that I want, it's on sale um, for this much. And I'm only this much away. And I was like, oh, really? And I was like, well, I was like, we can order that then. We can do that. And then... I didn't order it for him because I was like in bed. So I said, we can do that tomorrow. And then he came in a little bit later and said, dad just said that he ordered it for me. So I'm excited for him. It's a really cool 3D printer. Um, his best friend David has one and you, you can make so much with them. So that will be a fun thing for him to have this summer. Okay, I'm really just talking a lot here. So <laughs> let's see. I just recently started my channel and I'm comfortable with the slow but steady growth I have. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I think that's a good outlook. Or I think that's a good, that doesn't sound right. You get what I'm saying. I let, I loved that part too. Um, having a way to look back and see things that I've made and especially like journals it's really fun to be able to have that so yeah I think that's a really good way to go about it but yeah I think I'm gonna hop off because I'm just gonna be finishing this and I think I'm hungry I think I need to go eat
also. So, I hope you guys have a lovely, <laughs> didn't want to drop that day. And, hope you have a lovely day. Hey, hey, hey. These are so cute. Okay, last one I'll show you. This is like a little, like it looks like a New York picture or something like that. So, any guy, anyway, guys, <laughs> it was fun hanging out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. If I can do this here. I don't, how do I turn this thing off? Sound like my mom. Oh my God, it literally won't let me turn it off.